Right, so the last video I cleaned up this old blowtorch. Now I want to turn it into a lamp. So I bought this nice little brass bulb holder, half inch bayonet, and quite a nice shaped bulb to go in the end, which hopefully should fit in something like that. But what I've got to do is find a way to mount this bulb holder inside here. Got this bit of old brass plate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a brass washer out of this, cut a hole in it, which I will solder this ring to, and then solder this brass washer inside the chamfer. Then I can take the bulb fitting, slot it in there, screw it in, and that should give me a nice uh, fitting to put the bulb into. So I've got to make a washer out of this. Alright, that needs cleaning up before I solder it, but that is basically what's going to go inside here. That will fit over there. This I will solder to the washer. And they'll both screw on like that. So that will then fit inside here. Right, so that looks quite nice. Just got to make sure I solder that washer in nice and square. Pretty good. Right, so I've actually got another one of these bulb holders here which I'm going to use as a sacrificial piece just to keep these in the perfect alignment. Make sure that ring is soldered on square. So I've cleaned this up with a bit of thinners. Now we're going to just use some of this tin lead solder and flux to attach that. Right, this is all cleaned up, degreased, ready to go. I need this to be square, so I think what I'm going to do is try and get a bit of pipe the right diameter and just place it in there to keep it all aligned nicely. Right, as luck would have it, a part of one of those other blow torches is actually the exact same thread. So what I can do is stick that in there and keep it perfectly aligned. I think that's perfect. So I'm just going to hot glue this to the vise so it can't move. So that should keep it perfectly aligned. And then I can just come down here with a bit of this solder and solder it inside. Oh, 
Okay, so I've got this tin lead solder. I'm just going to get my blowtorch and heat this up from the outside and then just dab this around the edges. Hopefully that will solder in nice and firm. Put my mask on, this is quite toxic. Right, that needs a little bit of cleaning up of the solder in there, but it's soldered quite nicely. I'm confident that's strong. Now I've just got to put this in and do a little test fit. See how square it is. If this has worked first time, I'll be pretty happy. Oh, look at that. I'm very happy with that, that's excellent. Just a little bit of clean up to do. Okay, so that's gone in there really nicely. Soldered, nice and secure. Bulb goes in nice and square, which is excellent. This is now slightly too long with the bulb hogger in there. So I'm going to have to trim the end off. I didn't want to use PVC shielded flex, so I've got this really nice vintage style braided three core flex so i'm going to take the bulb holder out of here now and wire that up and we'll just test it out right so european standards yellow and green is earth right so that's the earth to that. Okay, these two go through here. Doesn't matter which of these two they go into. That goes on there and then this retaining ring over the top. Right, that is that wired up and ready to go in. Sweet. Need to wire a plug on the other end just to test this. So we'll do that next. This is a slightly fancy plug with an additional rocker switch on it. Normally Brown goes on the right, second letter of the word brown is R, so it's on the right. Blue, second letter is L, so that goes on the left. And the remaining one goes in the other sl slot. That's for a UK plug. Fortunately, this one is marked, so it's a little bit easier to work out. Right, insanely dangerous to have it wired like this. I'm just going to make sure I'm not touching anything here at all. Do a quick test. Perfect. Right, unplugged, it can't kill me. Right, in the last video I heated up the guard and the handle, dropped in some oil. It did actually tarnish again quite quickly, so I've just masked it up and the guard, and I'm just going to X prime that and I'm going to do it black, which I think will be a really nice contrast to the brass. So that is what I'm going to do now. So that's etch primed. Right, the top coat done. I'll let that dry and I'll get it all put back together.